Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip, we're going to be going over question number eight of our Epic Must Know Trig Identities proofs. In this example, we're going to be carrying out the proof using the fundamental identities. This standard is covered in Trig and Precalculus courses. Don't forget to take a look in the link in the description to gain access to the worksheet that has all these Trig proofs on there and links to each proof showing you how they are done. All right, so for question number eight, the task is to prove the following. We are to prove that the statement, so prove that the statement um, cosine theta, secant theta, minus cosine square theta is equal to sine square theta. Okay, all right, let's go ahead and do it. Now, if you take a look at the box to your right, you're going to see the strategy that we have been using for the previous problems, problems numbers uh, one through seven, improving um, trig identities using the fundamental identities. We're going to be applying the same strategy um, in solving this problem, okay? Now, if you take a look at the left side of this equation, you notice that we have the product of two trig functions and then minus cosine squared theta. Now, whenever you have the sum or difference of a trig function squared, the first thing that should come to your mind is the Pythagorean identities. Okay, you ask yourself, can I create a Pythagorean identity on the side of the equation that has that trig function squared with a plus or minus? Okay, so in this particular case, we have minus cosine squared theta. So what trig identity has that component in it? Well, we have to take a look at the trig identity, the fundamental identity that has square cosine square theta in it. And that is a um, fundamental trig identity, the Pythagorean identity given by sine square theta plus cosine square theta equals one, okay? As we did in um, problem number seven, what we did is we wrote down two other forms of this particular identity, this Pythagorean identity. Okay, so this is form number one. In order to get the second form, all we just have to do is subtract sine square theta from both sides of the equation. If we subtract sine square theta from both sides of the equation, we'll end up with cosine square theta is equal to one minus sine square theta. All right, so this is the second form of the Pythagorean identity involving cosine square theta. And then the last one, we just uh, subtract sine square theta from both sides instead of cosine square theta. I'm sorry, we subtract cosine square theta instead of sine square theta. So if we subtract cosine squared theta, we'll be left with sine squared theta equals one minus cosine squared theta. So this is the third form of your Pythagorean identity involving um, cosine squared theta and sine squared theta. There are other ones that we can form um, too, but for the purposes of this problem, these three forms are sufficient. Okay, so now we have minus cosine squared theta. Now, which of these identities has something minus cosine squared theta? Is it the first form, second form, or the third form? We can clearly see that the third form is applicable here because we have minus cosine squared theta. We have one minus cosine squared theta. So the question is this component of our equation right here, cosine theta secant theta, can it be reduced into one? Now, in order to carry out the reduction, we're going to take a look at number one in our strategy for proving identities. Whenever you have the product and quotient, um, if you want to reduce them, the easiest way to do it is to express the trig functions in terms of sine and cosine only. In that way, you can identify common factors, divide them out, and then you end up with your simplified state. Okay, so we're going to be applying that principle here in simplifying the product of these two trig functions on the left, cosine theta and secant theta. Okay, 
So cosine is already in the desired form. Cosine theta, we'll leave that alone. But secant theta using the reciprocal identity can be rewritten as 1 over cosine theta. Okay, so minus cosine squared theta equals sine squared theta. Now that we've, uh, so let's see, what did we use here? We used the reciprocal identity. Let's write that down. Reciprocal identity. So now that we've written that product of trig functions using sine and cosine only, we can clearly see that cosine is a factor that can be divided out. So we're going to divide here. Cosine goes here one, cosine goes here one. And then when you multiply that all out, you have one minus cosine square theta equals sine square theta. Okay. Now we have Form 3, exactly, 1 minus cosine squared theta. So what does Form 3 of this Pythagorean identity tell us 1 minus cosine squared theta can be substituted with? We can clearly see that we can substitute it with sine squared theta. So the left side, we can um, replace it with sine squared theta. All right, just bring down the right side. Sine squared theta, is it equal to sine squared theta? Absolutely, we have completed the proof because we've been able to show that the left-hand side of the equation is equal to the right-hand side. Okay, so let's go ahead and write down what we did. So for this step here, we just simplified. And then for the last step, we made use of the Pythagorean identity. Okay, so this is how you show that cosine theta secant theta minus cosine squared theta is equal to sine squared. Thanks for taking the time to watch this presentation. really appreciate it. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your studies of trig identities and how to prove them, do give us a like or a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is extremely important to us. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We upload videos to our YouTube page on a regular basis. So if you subscribe, you get a notification of, of, of our uploads. If you have any questions or comments about um, the video we just went over, or if you have any special requests for a trig identity that you would like us to prove, just post it in the comment section below and we will be more than glad to um, assist you. As indicated earlier, if you take a look at the link in the description, you have the link to the worksheet that has all the trig identities. And also you can visit our website at mathgotserve.com for a wide variety of tools to help you in your studies of mathematics. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.